Investing in a real estate investment trust, or REIT, via a 1031 exchange may be complex. However, it is feasible. While some argue it's impossible due to different ownership forms, it can be achieved with the right strategy. Selling an investment property involves disposing of a tangible asset, classified as real property by the IRS. The Internal Revenue Code Section 1031 allows investors to swap investment properties for like-kind assets. By reinvesting the entire sales proceeds in one or more similar properties within a specified time frame, investors can defer the accumulated capital gains taxes. The challenge lies in the fact that real property and REITs are not like-kind assets, an essential condition for tax-deferred 1031 exchanges. The solution is a two-step process. Converting real property assets into shares of a Delaware Statutory Trust, or DST, which can then be transformed into Operating Partnership, or OP units, via an Umbrella Partnership Real Estate Investment Trust, known as an UPREIT. The process has advantages, such as increased liquidity and diversification. Additionally, instead of relying on a single property for the possibility of cash flow, an UPREIT investment provides a potentially more balanced portfolio. However, investors must understand potential drawbacks, including the process's complexity and the tax consequences when converting OP units into REIT shares, most notably that your assets will no longer be eligible for a 1031 exchange. For real property and DST investors, finding exit strategies can be challenging. However, the UPREIT structure offers a potential way for investors to increase liquidity and diversify their portfolios. Interested in learning more about REITs and 1031 exchange investments? Our team at Perch Wealth will be happy to answer any questions you may have. We're here to help you strive to achieve your investment goals. Contact a member of our team today or visit perchwealth.com for more information. This video presentation is not an offer to buy or a solicitation to sell a security. The video is a discussion pertaining to one or more investment strategies and or asset classes and is not a discussion of any specific offering past or present of securities. As a reminder, there is no guarantee that any investment or strategy will perform as targeted, and any investment involves the risk of the loss of some or all principal invested. This video contains statements intended for educational and hypothetical purposes only, and is not to be constructed as a promise of performance. Information presented herein reflects the opinions of the speakers and is from sources believed to be reliable, but all information is subject to change. Not an offer to buy, nor a solicitation to sell securities. Information herein is provided for information purposes only and should not be relied upon to make an investment decision. All investing involves risk of loss of some or all principal invested. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Speak to your finance and or tax professional prior to investing. Securities offered through Emerson Equity LLC member FINRA SIPC. Only available in states where Emerson Equity LLC is registered. Emerson Equity LLC is not affiliated with any other entities identified in this communication. There is no guarantee that any strategy will be successful or achieve investment objectives. Potential for property loss. All real estate investments have the potential to lose value during the life of the investments. Change of tax status. The income stream and depreciation schedule for any investment property may affect the property owner's income bracket and or tax status. An unfavorable tax ruling may cancel deferral of capital gains and result in immediate tax liabilities. Potential for foreclosure. All financed real estate investments have potential for foreclosure. Illiquidity. Because 1031 exchanges are commonly offered through private placement offerings and are illiquid securities, there is no secondary market for these investments. Reduction or elimination of monthly cash flow distributions. Like any investment in real estate, if a property unexpectedly loses tenants or sustains substantial damage, there is potential for suspension of cash flow distributions. Impact of fees and expenses. Costs associated with the transaction may impact investors' return and may outweigh the tax benefits.